Welcome to our weekly update. Uh, once again, I'm in the North Isle with the Stations of the Cross that were executed by Melville Haysom. We walk the Stations of the Cross each Friday in Lent at 1.10 p.m. following the 12.30 Eucharist. When COVID uh, struck, we moved the uh, 5 p.m. Eucharist on a Sunday to Saturday because uh, the requirements for sanitization and distancing didn't allow us enough time between the five o'clock service and Evensong. Uh, we're now at the stage where we can return that service to Sunday evenings and return to the chapel. Um, quite a few people are really overjoyed at that prospect. So that's going to happen on Easter Day. So the last uh, Saturday evening service will happen on the eve of Palm Sunday, which is April the 9th, and the first uh, 5 p.m. service on a Sunday will happen on Easter Day. That's April the 17th. We are approaching the uh, climax of Lent as we move towards the great three days to, and to Holy Week itself. A uh, few opportunities coming our way. Uh, there's lots of opportunities to read, and so there is a reader's sign-up sheet available in the cathedral. If you're not able to make it in over the next little while but would like to read uh, for Easter, please be in touch and we can uh, add you to the roster. Over the next few days we have a wonderful uh, set of offerings coming our way. Tomorrow is Lady Day, uh, the day when Mother's Union comes en masse to their cathedral. It's the Feast of the Annunciation, the day that we reflect on the story recorded in Luke's Gospel where Mary interacts with the angel Gabriel to discover that uh, she is going to be Jesus' mum and one of the really important uh, aspects of that story is that Mary exercising human agency says yes. So the Mother's Union will be with us on Mass uh, tomorrow morning at uh, 10 a.m. for their annual celebration of Mary and the Annunciation. Uh, you're very welcome to join them. And then on Saturday we have our Lenten quiet day. We'll be joined by Rodney Wolfe, the priest in charge of Holy Trinity the Valley. And he's going to speak to the theme of In the Pink, acknowledging that uh, Sunday coming is Refreshment Sunday, the day when we, re we wear uh, pink or rose vestments uh, in the liturgy and we enjoy the gift of Simnel Cake. Uh, once again, Terry Albone has made Simnel Cakes for all of the services and has um, had to do a huge hunt for marzipan. Apparently there's a big marzipan shortage on at the moment. It's amazing how many uh, products have been affected by the supply chain effects of COVID-19. But Terry has uh, overcome the great marzipan shortage and found enough marzipan to decorate the cakes in proper style for Refreshment Sunday or Mothering Sunday, as it is also known. And then on Sunday, we have our deferred annual meeting. Um, Papers are available on the community page of the cathedral website, also available here in the cathedral. Many people, as we all know, were affected by the flooding caused by the recent rain event. Um, we are doing some special work to help the people of the parish of Goodna amongst many people who were affected. The parish has need for money at the moment rather than things. So um, in service notes this week, you'll find details of how to offer them a bank transfer. If you'd like to give money on Sunday, please hand it to uh, one of the sides people or a warden or one of the clergy team and just let us know that it's for the Goodna um, flood relief and uh, we'll make sure it gets to uh, Bronwyn and her community. Uh, one area that we need some help with is the, uh, to help some people get to medical appointments and the like. So if uh, you're willing to help um, and to go on a list of people who might be available to be called upon to help people to get to church or to get to appointments, 
uh, please be in touch and we'll have that listed at, at hand when we get such requests. And finally, on Sunday, there will be a collection to help Mothers Union and their work in the Pacific. They have a specific project this year helping the people of the Pacific uh, recover from disaster and from the effects of climate change and to build resi resilience in the face of climate change. So when you come to worship this Sunday, you'll be able to uh, support that appeal. If you'd like to uh, give online, uh, you can do that as well. This week we say happy birthday to Mabs Chapman and to Valerie Lidke. Hope you both have a fantastic birthday. Thank you for the support you give us. Thank you for your involvement in the life of this community. As the uh, study groups continue as we move through Lent and a reminder that you can join them at any stage during our Lenten pilgrimage. Um, if you have to be at a distance, please be aware of our prayers for you. Peace be with you.